Hi, I'm Natalie Frost and I'm an artist who works closely with Baltic, specialising in sessions for learning disabled groups. I often consider the sensory needs and preferences of individuals when designing art activities and the citrus printing one is great for people who respond to scent. You're going to need a few things to be able to do this activity. Firstly, some paper. I've got a sheet of A3 here, but you can use some card that's been part of packaging or some wallpaper. You're going to need some fruit. Here we've got the orange, which I have cut in half um, between the stalk mark and the tip to create a cross section. So you can see the segments there. There's the lemon and there's the lime. You can use a grapefruit if you've got it, whatever you like. Um, this is just cut into quarters because it might be handy for filling in some space later on. Okay, if you've got little fingers, you should get an adult to help you with the cutting as you might need to use a sharp knife. Next, we're going to need some paint or ink. It's not the easiest to access during lockdown, so I'm using food colouring. Um, this is a thick gel kind, but we're also going to use the liquid kind. Um, it's particularly good for this um, activity, as you'll see in a bit. So that's it there and then we need some lids or something to put it in so I've, I've used lids from um, coffee pa um, coffee jars and from um, hummus packets this is a jam one and we just put a small amount of paint or ink in the bottom there um, you don't need much because you're going to get some juice coming out of these um, citrus fruits that you can use to water it down a bit then a cloth yeah we'll use a cloth just to dab um, some of the extra ink off and you might need it for your hands. So let's get on with this citrus printing. So we've got this small amount of ink that we're going to pour into here. That's probably a bit much, but there you go. Okay, so we're going to start off with the lime and I'm using green because the lime's green, but you can use whichever colours you like. Um, let's move this so you can see it a bit better and I'm going to dip that into the ink and then I'm going to either drain it against the edge or I'm going to use my towel or paper towel just to get rid of some of the stuff. I mean the first print is usually a test so let's see how it goes and oh, that looks okay maybe a bit more ink and I'm going to do an entire line of these, I think, just to make sure that I'm getting the hang of it. So there's the first one, a bit much, never mind. Here we go. And I'm just going to keep going till the end. So as it, if you look carefully at the way that the ink is reacting with the lime juice, it's actually bleaching out um, some of the colour. So you get to um, see the shape of the juice pockets a little bit more clearly. Juice pockets, that's a technical term. So there we go. I've got a final one there that I'm printing half onto the table, but I'm sure you won't be doing that at home. OK, just get my hands there and then we're going to use the lemon. Um, the lemon's really well designed as it's got um, the feature at the top that you, that makes it easy for you to hold on to it there. I'm having to dig my nails in a bit, but I can get it out there a bit more. And we're going to do a line of lemons. Oh, right, pushing down on that. Um, you've got to be quite careful so it doesn't skid. But pushing is a really good sensory action that helps us to recognise where we are in space. And it's really good to practise that when you're young or even when you're old, um, just to press the correct sort of pressure and to lift it back up again. Just very precisely, a bit of fine motor skills there. OK, so we're going to do the rest of the line here. And I can't tell you how lovely this is smelling. I mean, for those of us that are on lockdown and would like a gin and tonic or a lemonade if you're a bit younger, this does not make you crave that after six o'clock drink. Absolutely lovely. OK, that's the lemon and we're going to move on to the orange. Oh, no, we're going to do a bit more green. 
Oh, this smells so good. It's filling the whole house, this smell. It's really nice. It's pretty invigorating as well. Um, I use this activity when my groups are feeling a little bit lethargic. Um, it's a real pep up. Um, uh, the smell of lemons and limes. It's invigorating. Um, I guess it'll be um, as invigorating and therapeutic for homeschool parents as it is for children at the minute so it's a good one if you're having a bit of a quiet and lethargic afternoon and there we go nice line of green there and finally we're going to do some orange so if you're using an orange it's best to be prepared for some serious juice uh, you'll need your towel or your paper towel it'll definitely be required oh dear Okay, so we're pushing that down, squeezing even more of that juice out. And again, let's see how this one's going to come out. I think we might need to give it a little wipe because it's starting to pool on the paper. Oh, it smells so good. The great thing about using... Um, about using food uh, colouring, if you're using it, is that you can eat the orange afterwards and I will definitely be doing that regardless of a bright orange tongue. Okay, just getting to the end here and we're going to finish off um, with another line of green. So while I put this final um, line of green on, I'm going to just give you a bit of health and safety information. Um, while you're printing with citrus fruit, don't rub your eyes. It could be very painful, so don't rub your eyes. Just try and keep your, your hands um, sticky until the end and then you can give them a good wash. Okay, the other thing you might want to do if you've got sensitive skin is to rub in a barrier cream or some Vaseline to protect the cuts and to protect sensitive skin. OK, well, some of these um, have come out really detailed now, especially near the end. You can really see the interior of that um, lemons on lime slice. Um, we're just going to use a few um, of these little segments, uh, quarter segments to fill in some space. And while I do that, I'm going to tell you that this session was designed to respond to two exhibitions hosted by Baltic. Um, citrus fruits originate from the rainforest. So this is a nod to the current exhibition by Abel Rodriguez, but also the centered art of he Heather Philipson, who was in Baltic a few years ago. So check them out on Baltic Plus. They're both really good exhibitions um, and there's loads more stuff on there if you want to do more research and make up your own activities around them. Right we're just finishing off here now. One more. I'm not sure that those little quarter segments are necessary but there you go you get the idea and that's the finished piece. Now if you want to you can cut some of these out and hang them on strings or buy ribbons and they smell great around the house. Or you might just want to keep the work of art as it is. Um, as it dries, it smells um, beautiful. Well done.